Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel Speed and Power. I'm here at the uh, Haynes Museum in uh, Somerset. So let's go and have a lovely tour of this lovely car museum. In the foyer they've got some lovely uh, cars so let's uh, check out these lovely racing cars. Start off with this lovely RS2000 road game version of the Ford Group B car, rally car. Next up we've got a FW20 Williams from 1998. All red livery. 1998 Renault Laguna from the British Touring Car Championship driven by Jason Plato. And the classic Nescafe Gold Blend racing green livery, the gold wheels. Next up we have the FW36 Williams from 2014, driven by Philippe Massa. In the classic Martini livery. We've got a lovely shop here, although there's a little car memorabilia in it. So here we are ladies and gentlemen, the start of the Haynes Museum and the history of um, the Haynes Manuals as well. So let's uh, check out all the lovely old cars in this section. So we've got an Austin 7. I have no idea what that is. A little Austin Healy Sprite. This lovely gold racing car is a 1959 Elva Courier Mark II. My father Never seen one before. Let's enter. Some really, really old cars in here, motorcycles in this section. Here's a, well, pretty much the first car ever made, which is a tricycle made by Mr. Benz. One cylinder. Wire wheels. This is the dawn of motoring. Now we enter the famous Haynes Museum Red Room full of red cars all types, sports cars mainly. So this row here we've got a nice collection of uh, red Alfa Romeos. This nice 1967 Julia Sprint. That six Spider. 68. Spider Veloce, Maserati, Maersk SS, 
Another Alpha male spider from 63. And this lovely Lancia Fulvia. MX5, Datsun 240Z. Mm, do like those. The old Street 6, isn't it? Jensen Healy, Porsche Boxster. Another Porsche 956 Coupe, Austin Healy, 3000 MGB. Obviously, Red Countach from the 80s. What a car. Patron. Some cars I've never even heard of, like this Turner 1950, Sunbeam Tiger, Morgan, Janetta, Marcos, some lovely old British brands that you've probably never heard of. Triumphs, Eva, Daimler Dunn. Riley, AC Ace, the car that came before the AC Cobra. Nineteen sixty six Jaguar XK X SS replica. Most of the originals were destroyed in a fire, which makes the original ones that were built very, very valuable. Certainly Steve McQueen owned one of these, original ones. Some of the brands, well known brands that feature the colour red in their logo. So you've got McDonald's, Nintendo, Canon, Kellogg's, Marvel, Coca Cola, Santander, Diesel. Fashion brand that is. Colgate, Lego, Netflix, Red Bull, Virgin, Vodafone, Puma, Heinz, Budweiser, Haynes, and Rebound. American Muscle. So we've got this lovely Pontiac Firebird from 73. And my favourite cars here, Dodge Viper, original Dodge Viper from 1995. With that huge great big V10 under the bonnet. And then we've got this lovely C5 Chevy Corvette. Target up one. A lovely 66 Mustang Cabriolet. So next to the Rev Room we've got another collection of old classic cars. The few red cars still in it. Mainly from the 40s, 50s and 60s. You see the Countach is from the 80s. Things like this old roller convertible, Cornish convertible. Old 1930s Bentley. Another, it's a Bentley Continental convertible. This lovely yellow 73 Porsche 911 RS Touring. Mm -hmm. Isn't that nice? With the famous ducktail rear wing on the back. 
Next section is done up like an old garage. Some old, again with some more classic cars in it. All the old classic signs on the wall. Neon lights. Things like the Capri here. Old A35 RAC van. They look so tiny those little A35 vans. Rover. Very quirky little Austin Nash Mot uh, Metropolitan with these like inbuilt wheels, and, like very distinctive sort of American sort of styling to the car. This cutaway shows uh, how the basic how the basic the car works. Pistons going up and down, gearbox, connected to the prop shaft which is then connected to the rear differential, S splits the power 50-50 between the two wheels. Going a nice cutaway of an engine, showing the internals of it. All the valves, exhaust and uh, inlet valves. And gearbox. So you've got a big selection of really old classic cars here. An old MG racing car here. Loads of old classic signs and memorabilia. And old garages and stuff. This next room is dedicated to uh, Enzo Ferrari and all these lovely creations and all these lovely cars. So let's check out the Ferrari Enzo room. On the wall here features uh, the life of Ferrari, Mr. F Enzo Ferrari. In his early years, classic picture of him racing a car there. <laughs> Quando lei pensa che il figlio rappresenta la continuità di noi stessi, lei lo porta a scuola, il giorno che si riesce a The most expensive car in the world at the moment uh, a 250 GTO worth about 50 million quid. And in 87, the last car, road car he signed off, the legendary F40, it was the last car he signed off before he passed away. In 1988, at the age of 90 years old. 
So here's a small selection of Ferrari road cars from over the years. So we've got 308 and red. 360 Spider. And a lovely silver, Arctic silver uh, blue. A lovely 1960 Ferrari 250 GT Cabriolet. That is beautiful. A tan interior. Four five six GT Another wine red colour with tan interior. The Ferrari you probably never seen before from the eighties. It's very wedge shaped four door saloon. Coupe, which is an 82 Ferrari 400. So the next room is dedicated to motorsport. With lots of models of racing cars over the years. Starting off this 19. 94 GT4 T replica Sierra Cosi from 1987 road car version. And we've got this promotional car with the cutaway section showing the uh, legendary Cosworth lump under the bonnet. 1971 Ford Escort Mexico Ford Convair Special and then we've got a Ford a Formula Ford in Duckham's colours and then a free car Tuscan 911 yellow with blue stripes 2002 Ferrari 360 Modena Challenge Sudali and a 1974 Lola T37 F1 car some go karts Lola 11 Westfield. Look how small that is. Jaguar. Kunga, which is like a collaboration with Jaguar. A long nose D type replica. Nineteen fifty Healy Silverstone. Nineteen forty seven Allard. 1996 Ferrari F1 car that Michael Schumacher drove in this year in his first year driving for Ferrari was in one of these check out these lovely models of the old F1 cars lovely models Next section is the American section. All classic American cars. I mean, start off. Just check out the length of this Cadillac. It is ginormous. Absolutely ginormous. Absolutely ginormous. It's probably about the size 
the transit van, I'd say in length, if not longer. It is massive. And I've made some big square barges back in the in the 70s in, in America. Old ambulance. Sixty-nine Corvette Stingray, C6 Corvette, the cream interior. Some motorbikes, some Harleys. Lovely Chevy Camaro SS, nineteen sixty-seven. C3 Corvette Stingray Denim Red and a lovely 1960s C1 Corvette in white with red accents and red interior 1981 the DeLorean made completely out of aluminium as a Low car, it was an absolute flop, but obviously made famous by Back to the Future. The original Go Anywhere vehicle, the Willys Jeep, that inspired the original Land Rover. Uh, some really old American cars here from the 20s. Nineteen twenty one model T Ford. The car that Ford said you can have it any other colour apart from uh, as long as it's black. Right back to nineteen oh nine with this this one. Check out this supercharged thing. What cool is that? Massive collection of American classic cars. Saza engine, huge. Even though this is a British car, this is an AC Cobra. AC was a British company in uh, Carl Shelby got his hands on it and uh, turned it into the Shelby Cobra but this is the original AC Cobra the later versions were called obviously the Shelby Cobra this is the original AC Cobra the big 427 ones were badged Shelby 1969 Dodge Charger now these cars have certainly been in a lot of uh, films over the years from Bullet as a baddie kind Bullet to obviously the later Fast and the Furious films have featured a lot of these Dodge Chargers mainly in black this one's in blue but just how big the car is it's absolutely ginormous car it's huge proper barge Chevy El Camino pickup truck. Basically, a, a pickup truck muscle car. Impala. And the early Thunderbirds. The big towel fins on the back. And a lovely green convertible 65. Mustang. Next up we're entering the Williams F1 collection. So 
in here. We've got a lovely selection of F1 cars from Williams over the years. So we'll start off the oldest car here, which is from the 1992 season, driven by British driver Nigel Mansell. Form one cars have evolved as we walk around. Next up from the 1996 season, we have Damien Hills at Williams. So we've got two British world champions there in Mansell and Hill. A bit further down the line, from 2008, we have Powered by Toyota this time around. Going back a bit now, it's a 2001 Williams with the old BMW engine in it, driven by Ralph Schumacher and Pablo Montoya. Here we have the latest uh, Wall of Williams here in this collection from 2016, driven by Valtteri Bottas with the uh, Mercedes Power V8 and the iconic Martini livery. Safety of F1. This is the the carbon monocoque from a crashed one. Just shows you smash wheel. In here we've got a collection of classic bikes. And then motorcycle sidecars. The mm -hmm. last section of the museum is dedicated to British cars from Jaguar, Aston Martin and Lotus. Car that is 98 Jaguar XKR. E-Type Mark 1. Coupe from 65. Yeah. 
68 Mark II Jaguar Saloon to a pair of XK140s sorry an XK150 the first one and an XJ120 this huge bakery wedge car you see in front of me is a 1982 Aston Martin Lagonda Huge big wedge of 80s Aston Martin. Next off, we've got this lovely 67 Aston Martin DBS. DB4 Series 2. Just a bare shell. And a 52 DB2. And we've got a Jensen Interceptor. With a Chevy V8 under the bonnet. Another old British mark. Most people don't hear about is Jensen. This is a 63 one. All Lotuses. There's a, a black one and a white one, but start off with this 71 Europa. 96 Lotus Elise. This lovely black and gold Turbo Esprit from 1981. Two of them are featured in uh, James Bond. The famous white one was a Tenzer Submarine, was a Lotus Esprit. 59 Elite. Another Lotus Elite from 77. Nice little racing one in the background there. With White with a red stripe. Another haul of classic cars. Tuk Tuk from India. Sinclair C5. Electric pedal car. And this section is quite a variety of cars from different years and manufacturers from Mark 1 Lotus, sorry, Mark 1 2 to MR2. Land Rover, Rover ST1, Citroen 2CV, and Citroens, whatever that is. I think these are two Russian cars, I think. I think it's an East German Trevant. So it's the Thomas Pantera with the Ford. V8 in the, in the back. Italian supercar with a American muscle in the back. Believe it or not, that's a Renault. And two gorgeous Mercedes with a 1970s 280SL and a 61 190SL. Oh. Okay. 61 Smisher Smith, <laughs> smart car, probably the newest one of the newest cars here. 2001, another little bubble car. And certainly some wide variety of cars in this section. Last little section here is dedicated to Mini. Various different variations of the old classic mini. Hanging for the seat, hanging for the ceiling, there's this little mini moke attached to a parachute. Built for the uh, British Army. And that, ladies and gentlemen, ends my tour of the Haynes Museum here in Somerset. Hope you've enjoyed my little tour of this lovely museum. If you haven't, please subscribe and uh, hit the like button. And thanks for watching. And goodbye.